here this is Kashka where people are sitting oceanside and dining on lots of seafood and on the left is a huge tide pool and beyond it is a uh, large beach so it's a nice area where the king of Portugal made his summer residence and the nobility of uh, Portugal followed suit and they created some really nice homes out in this area as well and so it's one of the uh, wealthiest beach towns in Portugal and uh, if we round the bend here you'll see there's this little castle thing this tide pools um, notable because it looks like they've chiseled a pool straight out of the bedrock the literal rock and uh, created you know like a safe sanctuary for people to just jump in and swim in the ocean water without the worry of uh, ocean tides pulling them out to sea so if you were to swim here during the high tides most likely the water would just pour in over that wall and you'd be swimming in some fresh ocean water they have these all over the place in uh, Australia what, what's unique about this one though is you see the greenery it almost looks like grass and that's that natural growth that's maybe algae I'm not sure what it is but uh, it gives it a really nice visual kind of texture here's the castle over here don't really know the history but interesting to see a, a castle that's seaside so I'll just take us out here guys to give you the full feel and scope of this place it's a little walkabout really And it's an accessible spot. I just jumped off the train and it took me one minute to get to this beach. It's February. People are in bathing suits, so you can see that Portugal stays warm pretty much year round. Here's the greenery I was talking about. Look at that really rich colored green.